What's up, everybody? Uh, it's a beautiful day outside today. Okay, the dogs are dropped off. Just left them inside to get their haircuts and play for the entire day. I didn't bring my camera in because sometimes it gets a little hectic with all the dogs barking and jumping and running around. So, so now we're gonna head down to the city and ooh, we're gonna find some coffee. You know the uh, the funny thing about this coffee shop, you never know where it is unless you know where it is. So, uh, so here we are down this random alley. This guy's making my coffee today. He's the best. Awesome. Boom. Uh, so that's the Anthem Espresso. And right now that's a blend of two different Costa Rican coffees. Sweet. This is my favorite coffee shop to come to. It's in the city, like I said. You don't really ever know it's here unless you know it's here. And they do these things called coffee flights. So you test out the coffee in an espresso or in a pour over or whatever. But I've never been able to finish it because it's just so much coffee by the time I leave. I'm all jittery and shaking. So today, today's the day. I'm finishing the coffee flight. We're doing it together. Ah, like a true Italian. Phase one complete. Okay, I'm moving on to course number three. I'm struggling, I feel the jitters. I feel like I can actually feel the blood moving through my veins, so. Wish me luck. Got coffee sweats. I need to take this sweater off. Ladies and gentlemen, flight complete. Yes, <laughs> finally did it. I finally did it. Congrats. How many times have I been here and not been able to finish it? Uh, more than a few. Yeah, more than a few. <laughs> yeah. Not today. Nope. Oh, you're the best. Oh, yeah, see you next time. Me in for sure. Appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, I'll see you later. So wired from that. You ever tried one of these? Never. You want to try one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's Kevin's first time on a boosted. <laughs> it's got a kick, eh? <laughs> I'm not responsible if you break anything. Work at the brewery. That's yeah, cool. right on. All right, guys. So I was just heading back to my car, and I met with uh, it's Kevin. What's up? I met with Kevin, and uh, he's absolutely enamored with the boosted board, as most people are. And he works at the brewery up the uh, up the alley here, which is actually right next to the coffee place invited me in for a beer, so I said, hell yes. We'll see what happens to my nervous system. That one's amazing, what is that? I don't even know what's happening, I've never tasted anything like this. I was headed back to my car to just take off and leave for the day, and then I met Kevin, down at the, uh, the bottom of the alley here, and he was like, oh, a super cool skateboard. And I was like, yeah, do you want to try it? And you know, just it's just being kind to people and practicing kindness, because you have to practice it. You have to actively make an effort to just be nice and not let things bother you, and take the time to just be, just be nice to people. And he invited me up to their brewery for a beer, so we went up there, had a beer, super awesome guy. And they invited me inside to check out their brewery and look around, and I asked if I could film some dope B-roll, and they were like, yeah, film whatever you want. So I'm gonna grab the Ronin, I'm gonna throw the 1D in the Ronin, and now I get to experience something that I never thought would happen today, and you guys get to check out this dope brewery in Toronto. So I'm, oh, I'm so excited right now, it's so cool.
guys, that brewery was super cool. If you were ever in Toronto, you find yourself on Wagstaff, check out Left Field Brewery. Those guys are amazing, super kind. Thank you for having me. Hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll. Really, really cool place. That sour orange beer was so good. Ugh. Now, you guys always want to know about my tattoos. It's one of the things you guys ask me about all the time. So I want to take a minute, a little story time if you will, and talk about my tattoos, where I got them. There's, there's some cool history behind it. One of the coolest guys in the whole world does them all. So let's find a place to do that. Okay, so I always wanted to get tattooed, but I was always like afraid of, like anyone who's never been tattooed before, you always think to yourself, the first thing you think is, ah, oh, can I get used to looking at this every single day for the rest of my life? However, that's the wrong way of thinking about it. It's like, if you notice, if you look at your hands right now and you notice like a freckle on your hand or something like that, you never actually wake up every day and look at that freckle and think like, geez, I'm sick of seeing that freckle. And it's the same with tattoos. Once you start getting tattooed and you get tattooed, you know, it's just, it's just another part of your arm. It's, it's, it's not like an extension, like something that's been added. It just feels like it's always been there. It's a part of you. Just like a freckle on your hand. Your tattoos are the same way. You never look at them and think like, I'm sick of seeing this parrot on my arm. It kind of doesn't work like that. So once I figured that out and I started getting more tattoos, I, I walked into this tattoo shop in Las Vegas, Hart and Huntington at the Hard Rock. Hotel. I got there super early and the first guy there was a tattoo artist by the name of Jimmy Litwak. Now if you guys watch Spike TV and have ever seen the episode, if you've ever seen the show Ink Master, you'll know Jimmy came second place and he's been back on Ink Redemption and multiple seasons of Ink Master. The guy's a beast, one of the best tattoo artists in the world, hands down, and an even better friend. The guy's hilarious. I've actually got a, a Jimmy Litwak tribute tattoo. He was the first guy to actually tattoo a huge part of my forearm. Then I went back and got another tattoo, and then I went back and got more tattoos, and then he came to Canada, and then we just kind of developed this relationship, and he just started tattooing my entire arm, both arms, really. So now I've got a full sleeve of Jimmy Litwak tattoos, and I love it. Now, all my tattoos are family-based. Everything is based off of family. Um, there's, a, there's some random stuff in there, too, but it's still all family Based. Jimmy Litwak, uh, he's, he went from Hart and Huntington to some other shops and you know what, actually, I have an idea. Follow me. So I met Jimmy and he's tattooed me dozens and dozens of times. As you can see, I got hit up by a publishing company at one point. He wanted to put a bunch of my photos of Jimmy in that book, which you can see here. You can still find it in bookstores, which is pretty cool. And some of my favorite pieces, being that I told you they're all family-based, uh, my favorite one is probably the parrot riding a motorcycle. A funny story is, I just flew to Vegas and got it done. When I actually went to Vegas, I just quit a job interning at a really promising cinematography kind of firm. These guys specialize in weddings and doing work for the NFL. And I quit there to just go freelance on my own. I got a job with this company shooting a project. I flew there, shot the project. They asked where I wanted to go after. And I said, just fly me to Vegas and I'll find my way home flew to Vegas with no ticket home, no job, met up with a friend of mine and filmed this video of me getting tattooed. And I think I called it from sketch to skin. And the whole tattoo took about five hours. And I remember my hand being so fat and swollen that I couldn't even get my watch back on. And then he started tattooing me for free and then that was amazing because I got free ink from a friend, which was great. And then next thing you know, I'm covered in tattoos. Look at you. Look at you, where did all your hair go? Oh, that oh, was a long day. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and start to edit. I've got a busy day tomorrow and we're gonna be doing this again. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.